This episode brought to you by Virtual Shield VPN. There's never been a more crucial time to use a VPN. Their suggestions that our credit scores might be based on our internet history in the near future. The same way that banks use data like income to judge credit eligibility now is how websites could use internet search history in the near future. I will not let my internet history be the judge of my credit score. That's why I use Virtual Shield. Just go to the link in the description and pin comment and get Virtual Shield for 50% off today. Welcome back everyone for another trip down Gaslight Lane with Circleback Saki and Confused Joe. I'm Drone Tech and if you like my content, please hit that like button and subscribe. On a different subject, um, you mentioned last week that the president is expected to give a formal press briefing. Um, before press the, conference, yep. Yes, uh, before the end of the month. Mm -hmm. so, you, so that is a commitment before in the next few weeks we will see him in give take questions and follow-ups and so forth. Yeah, he, he has done about about 40 Q&As since he took office, but in terms of a uh, formal press conference, which I understand there's a big focus on, yes, we will have one before the end of the month. And what does it mean going forward? Will we see more of President Biden um, specifically? More than 40 Q&As in the last month, or? He will be submitted to more extensive questions, follow-ups, the kind of things we're doing today. Um, will, will we see him regularly? I don't know that you'll see him more than 40 times a month, but I'll have to tell, I'm happy to ask him that question. Do you get the feeling that Saki thinks we're all idiots and has zero respect for the press that drool over her? There's a distinct difference between a solo press conference where it's just the press and old Joe and these staged photo ops where his handlers protect him from demonstrating to the world that he's on a steep cognitive decline. For example, Fox News reports that Bynes aides rushed him from traveling press as they shouted questions at him. He went to people who shouldn't have gotten help. And, uh, you didn't go to folks who are, but you know, the significant with this new program, and we're going to continue this. By the way, it's not only you've been the only businesses with fewer than 20 folks to apply the last couple of weeks, but now we're going to keep the focus on it because a lot of minority owned businesses, women owned businesses. I said we're the oldest hardware store in DC. I also say we're the greenest hardware store in America. We have two urban farms actually in our building. We have Mary who's in the garage there and then we have Cultivate the City, uh, which is an awesome rooftop garden. Uh, they exist on our, on our rooftop. But you can't, you're not gonna be able to see it from, from here, but if they wanna give a wave. I see him. Yeah. And then we also have Don't solar. jump, we need you. <laughs> and then if I could just. So what happened is Biden is speaking with these store owners for a photo op. But as soon as the reporters start asking actual questions, the aides condescendingly told the press, quote, come on, press, you gotta go. And they were then removed from the premises. In doing so, Biden actually sets the record for the last 15 presidents going back 100 years for the longest amount of time before having a press conference. And this is another reason why Saki's excuses are so laughable. Because as usual, the standards seem to be completely different when a Democrat is in office. Back when Trump hadn't had a press conference, in his first 20 days, he actually ended up having it on the 27th. The media were, of course, flailing their arms about how unusual it was, like this rant from Katie Turr on MSNBC saying, quote, other presidents, I mean, he is accessible in the Oval Office. He's accessible in these gaggles. He's accessible when you shout questions to him on the White House lawn, yes. But a formal press conference where you take multiple questions on a variety of topics, he has not done. One of the big concerns right now that Biden needs to be questioned about are the floods of people crossing our border. All because of the things that Biden has said and the threat that it poses this country in the form of terrorism. <laughs> What am I saying? Only a racist would worry about things like that. That's all I have for this one. I want to remind you all that if you disagree with anything I say in my videos, come on over to my Discord and we can have a discussion during a live stream. You can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.